We turn now to that deadly car bomb attack outside of Moscow. The victim was the daughter of high-profile Russian nationalist Alexander Dugin. Videos being shown on Russian television show the immediate aftermath of the blast, the vehicle engulfed in flames. You can see what appears to be Dugan in shock, his hands on his head moments after the detonation. Dugan has been a strong proponent of the Russian invasion. ABC's Britt Klenet reports tonight from Kiev. Tonight, new video of that fiery car bomb explosion that killed the daughter of an ally of Vladimir Putin. Video is being shown on Russian television showing the immediate aftermath of the blast. The vehicle engulfed in flames, debris strewn on the street. The victim identified as 29-year-old Daria Duginya. You can see what appears to be her father, Alexander Dugin, in shock. His hands on his head moments after the detonation outside Moscow. Russian state media says the car belonged to her father. Dugin and his daughter had been traveling together, but according to his friend's telegram channel, they switched cars, leading some to believe he was the intended target. Dugin, an ultra-nationalist and staunch supporter of Russia's invasion, has been called Putin's brain. A Russian official tonight saying investigators remain at the scene. Authorities there believe the killing was planned and contracted and pointing the finger at Ukraine, but the Ukrainians deny any involvement. The killing coming one day after a Ukrainian drone strike deep within Russian-controlled Crimea. Videos circulating online show heavy smoke rising above Russia's Black Sea Fleet headquarters in Sevastopol. And the world still on high alert over the volatile situation at the nuclear plant in Zaporizhia. New shelling today just across the Dnipro River. Ukraine tonight saying the plant continues to operate with the, quote, risk of violating radiation and fire safety standards. President Biden today discussing the situation at the plant with the leaders of France, Germany and the UK, stressing the need to avoid military operations around the plant. Ukrainians on high alert. Britt Klenet joins us once again from Kyiv. And Britt, what more are you learning about that suspicious bombing outside of Moscow? Well, Lindsay, Russia says it's investigating it as a murder, but really it comes at a sensitive time here in Ukraine. President Zelensky warning that Russia could be planning something particularly cruel. Now, we're just a few days away from Ukrainian Independence Day here, which also happens to be six months to the day that Russia invaded. And we've just learned that state employees have been advised to stay away from central Kyiv on these days as a precaution. Lindsay? Britt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.